knowing a bit about people, you really don't know the true colours of people, like, ever. Everyone from uni probably knows it anyway because, you know, is all I'm saying. than I've ever had before. Now, don't get me wrong, it is still funny, right? I'll explain it to you. I've got my phone there using the back camera. I hope it's not echoey, it feels a bit echoey. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Phone there on the back camera, then there behind is like a bottle of shower gel. There's then three books on the other side. Then I've got a mirror there, so I can actually see myself for the first time ever. I can see if it stops recording, which is flipping fantastic. Anyway, before I start this video, I just wanted to say, thanks for the support lately, guys. If you're watching and you've watched the previous videos, the first Tenari vlog's got the highest views on my channel. No idea why, but that's bloody great. See, look, I can even see I've got a message from my mum. Sorry, Mum, I can't reply right now because I'm filming a video. But yeah, they did well, so that's good. And it's just kind of made me realise, like, well, not just that, but lately as well. I'm like, oh my God, this is what I want to do. Like, this, I love doing this. I love making YouTube and, like, I just want to try that. I've got quite a few videos that I want to film in the next month. Like, end of August is going to be good for, for videos because I've got stuff that I want to do and then... Obviously, October will be good and December will be good. So it's just like those other months filling in because I want to be more regular on here. We shall try and we shall see. I've got like so much to say before the video even starts, which is really bad. Mm. But anyway, in this video, today I thought I would do like a kind of uni review slash... Yeah, I guess a, a uni review. My experience at uni, what it's been like, what's coming next, the good stuff, the bad stuff, the absolute tea. This is Pepsi Max, but also look at this cup. Excuse my disgusting nails, but how cool is that? KT Thomas, if you don't know who that is, one of my best friends, got this for me from America because I am a white basic hoe. But like, Jesus Christ, look at, who doesn't want that? <sighs> Saving the environment as well. So, what could possibly go wrong? I also have some snacks. They didn't have the white chocolate cookies, which is a shame. So, we got the snacks. We got the drink. If you don't have one, go get one. Sit back, relax. And here we go. So, getting into the video I went to London South Southbank University I did a BA honours degree in drama and performance um finished in like May end of May and then we don't have a graduation till October which is really annoying because everyone's already had their graduation and then my course is just gonna be that <laughs> a few months later it's just really weird but so I've got my little list because as I always say in every video, I film on my phone so I can't use it. So first thing I've got is first, second, third year. So just a really quick breakdown. I'm not going to tell you like the ins and outs of my course because you don't want to know that. But first year was... What I can really say about first year is that, and I say this to people going into uni, is that I never knew like the jump. And I say that now, like if I did first year work now, obviously it'd be fine, but... Going from year 13 to uni, I was like, Oh my god, there's so much work and like, it's hard. And stuff like that. But well, obviously it was fine. Um, 
yeah, so I lived at home in Essex and obviously my uni was in central London. And I basically did that for the whole time other than like around half a year ago. So I commuted in every day. A lot, a lot, a lot of people from my course, like I think there's, I don't know how many, but most of the people on the course lived in the student halls and stuff like that. So that was like a little bit difficult, but I had already like watched videos like this before, getting advice and blah, 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 stuff like that about living at home. I wasn't ready to move out. Like, need my mama, I still need my mama, but that meant that I made a group of friends and because I was at home, other than, you know, like I did a few little nights out here and there and like stayed and like, you know, a little, 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 spent time with them outside of the uni. Really, I was there for uni and then I went back home. So all the time I wasn't there, they were all sort of living in the same building and stuff like that, all getting to know each other really more and going through this like living experience together. And I was just like at home like. So yeah, that was a bit, that was a bit of a hurdle. And as that happened, obviously them guys got closer and I was a bit like, so I ended up, <laughs> this is a bit of a story time, you know, none of the people know this apart from you and who I, who didn't know until I told him. So I had this like little friendship crisis and I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't really feel like I properly fit in with this group of people. And so it was like after a lecture where it sort of become clear, like, okay, these guys get really, really close. And it was sort of thing like, I'm just sat here not really talking to anyone. So I came out of uni, everyone was sort of standing around and I was like, right, you can do this, Katie, just go up to a group of people, speak. And I was, like, I'm not, I wouldn't say, I am still shy, but not like compared to what I was, my God, like uni has really like, made me grow as a person. Like my confidence is so much better. But yeah, so I really needed to um, get some friends basically, or like just find some more friends. So I went up to my boyfriend's group of people and they're all flipping crazy, but then so am I. But I went up there and I was standing there, mainly boys, few girls, and like they were all doing their weird, whatever they were doing at that time. And I was just like, ah. Oh. I sort of like was stood in this circle. They probably just either didn't even notice me or was just like, but I was stood there watching them all <laughs> like a weirdo. And I was just like, mm, no, this isn't a bit of me. And I was just sort of looking around. And then I saw like, I think we were friends at that point, I'm not sure, but basically saw these two girls standing there who were sort of looking at me and waved. So then I left this group of people that I was with, went over to them and then started being really, really close with these two girls, mainly one of them. And then we were like best friends throughout the whole year. I'm not really gonna go to like ins and outs of my friendships because, just because this is not what this video is. Don't really wanna get into it. But um, yeah, so that was kind of first year, finding your ground, finding your feet, knowing a bit about people. You really don't know the true colours of people like, ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, then second year was like the best time of my life. Second year was great. Like the things that we were doing in it was amazing. Like it was a really, really, especially the first semester was so like intense. Um, and we were in all day, every day, like five days a week, like, which sounds like hell, but doing drama and acting and stuff like that, it was just bloody great. I like had the closest friendship I ever had in second year. And then come to beginning of second year, obviously in uni, you are still growing all the time. And so yeah, second year was February, me and my long-term ex broke up. <laughs> We'd been together four and a half years. And the main reasons for it really were, is that he was in a job, he was settled, we lived like quite far away and I couldn't drive, but we lived, yeah, about 40 minutes away from each other. And yeah, he was quite settled and we only got to see each other on the weekends. 
and I was obviously growing, having all these new friends, all these new experiences in London and meeting new people and stuff like that, that it felt like I was sort of still, it's really hard to explain obviously if you're not in the situation, but I was still like growing and he was sort of, do you know what? I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to explain it, but this is sort of what, like this was me, this is him, just sort of like this, I want, and yeah, that's basically what happened. Me and my friends got a lot closer, stayed with them all the time, and it was, it was good. It was a good move, and it was just like, I don't even know if I'm going to put that bit in the video, to be honest with you, because, awkward. Wow. This is awkward to talk about online, I'm going to tell you that now. That was second year, basically, but it was really, really fun, and again, I, I would say with uni is that every single year, there is a jump and like obviously expected it's like in every single year of school but I guess because uni's like such a smaller amount of time the jumps of how hard the work is is bigger sort of thing more noticeable I did find that anyway I know like quite a lot of the smarty pants on my course probably won't agree with me but no I did find it obviously you settle in as well but I did find it like the jumps of like how hard it is to be a bit like mm. Um, but yes, so then, third year. Third year, again, what a bloody great year, okay? What a great year. First of all, started off, I'd have enough, I'd, ha I'd, I had had, I had had, yeah. I had had another relationship in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> absolute fail whatever don't need to go into that mm -mm -mm. and um yeah it was like as much as i it was so shit it did help with the work that i was doing so and that's the way i looked at it and that's one of how some of the ways i got over it was like i'm using what i've been through to put into my work and obviously as an artistic student that's what we like but yeah third year um, started off and like one of the first things you had to do was like stand on this box and like freely speak about something or what's going on in your head or something um, and I did it had literally like been probably on the morning of or something like that or break up and stuff like that and I stood on this box and everyone was talking about really deep stuff like that's just it was gonna happen and everyone was crying and stuff at first I stood on there and I was like I'm not gonna cry and was a, one minute later I was sobbing telling everyone what had happened so this is when after that task was done Ewan my current boyfriend and my forever um he came up to me gave me a card and he was like I know how you feel. And that was the first time we had properly interacted. Like literally, other than, if you remember what I was saying about first year, when I walked up into his group, sort of looked around and was like, oh, these people are scary. Other than that, that's all we, that was our first, you know, proper interaction, which was like, obviously lovely. Um, but yeah, so then we had that, did like the rest of the modules and stuff. And then, second semester of first or third year so literally january to the may was we made a show so i was in one group not gonna spill any tea for like i mean i'm sure everyone from uni probably knows it anyway because you know is all i'm saying um but no got moved into a group with i was in one group didn't end well and then basically I was just like asking around and stuff like that I was like the one person that was like can I be in your group please sort of felt like the last person being picked in PE but thank god thank god for that situation because I was put I was so blessed to be got in the group that I was in I have made best friends for life I was already like good like really good friends with two of the people I was in a group with already um the second group yeah so Two of the girls I was really friends with. And then the other two girls was like, not not friends, but not really good friends. And now we're going to Reading together. You know who you are. I love you. Okay? 
I love ya, I love my group. And I'm gonna do a little shout out, okay, right now. Becca, mwah. Becca, la, mwah. And Emily, mwah. Love you all. You have like completed my uni experience. Because we got to make a show together and it was just like, not really much more I can um, say about that. Especially is because that's not really what um what the video is about. But yeah, we worked really. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know what's going on with my head. We're just gonna do a bit. We worked really, really hard in the third year, and we managed to come out with a first. Ooh, don't mean to brag or anything. No, I'm joking. But we worked really hard. We like. I think we were really, really grateful, but deserving of our grade. And I always said, and me and Becca always, always said, like, we are not the type of girls that will come out of uni when first. Like, and I guess this is the part of the video that I've, like, been wanting to do for ages in saying that you don't need to come from money. You don't need to come from the background of people that have been to uni, that have, that are in all these high and well-paid jobs and everything like that. Like, no, you don't need to have that. All you need and I mean, not even all you need, because I'm sure there are people out there who don't have this and are still just like doing amazing and killing it. But I luckily had a really supportive mum who like pushed me and egged me on. None of my teachers did, but my mum did. Like literally ever since primary school, my teachers just didn't like me. I don't know what it was. I was blamed for everything. Like no one ever thought I'd go anywhere. And now I'm like, hey bitch. Do you know what I mean? Do what you want to do, okay? I'm in shit ton of debt, but we made it ish. But yeah, so third year is great as well. And now um, I'm doing the masters. So staying in the same uni, and um, I think it's just me and Ewan that are doing it, um, my boyfriend. No one else is, I don't think. But it's just like the reason I chose to stay at London South Bank for my masters. It's a one year course. I, I said so probably is there probably bad reasons for saying, but I know the teachers. I know the place. I know what sort of things they do. I know how they work. I know that like we all work well together and stuff like that. And I get twenty percent discount. Also, sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out. I'm using natural light. Oh, oh. What was I saying? If I took a gap year, I wouldn't go back. A hundred percent, I wouldn't. Like, I just wouldn't. I know I wouldn't. Why is my brain like this? <laughs> so I guess things I've learned from uni, other than, um like academic stuff and all, like what's actually doing my course like just in terms of personal social life stuff like that main one learning to like my own company um i used to hate and don't get me wrong i still i still prefer to be with someone or be with family people and have people around or just like be in the house at the same time but before i started uni i would just not want to be on my own like not not really for any particular reason. I just didn't like being on my own. I didn't like my own company. And that, like, it wasn't anything to do with not loving myself or, like... Like, I have always said I love my personality. I just... It's a good thing. Don't need to explain it. I just didn't want to be by myself. Whereas, obviously, having to commute up to London every single day and, like, you know, I did have that period of time where, like, I didn't really fit in or didn't really have that friendship group. So I had to learn to just do stuff on my own. Like I had a lunch break, I had to spend it. And it's not the same as school where you just like, well, I guess you could just go sit somewhere, but I instead just like went and learnt my surroundings or like, like, oh, I hate saying like all the time. For example, beginning of uni, I would never ever go and have lunch on my own or like go and go to Starbucks and get a drink and sit there on my own whereas now of course I would go to Starbucks go to Costa or whatever being in the flat or at home alone much better so yeah that's one thing another thing what else have I learned yeah actually that is another good thing another good thing is that like as much as I knew of it 
I sort of like really put into place the whole thing of some people were here for a reason, a season or a lifetime. <clears throat> And just letting that happen. I have such bad attachment issues. Like really bad attachment issues. And so I was never. And don't get me wrong. I'm not really now. But never good at letting people go. Or like letting people drift in and out of your life. But it's really something that you have, just have to learn. Especially in first year. Like it is so normal for your friends. To, to like drift around different friendship groups. Because you don't know the people. And you're, you're getting to know them really really quickly. So it's so normal to like be in a friendship group and then not like and don't cling on to it. Don't cling on to the reason why you've moved friendship groups or they're not friends with you anymore. Like just let it happen. People will be your friends and then they might drift away and not be your friends. If the friendship's the same as a relationship, if the friendship's supposed to happen, it will happen. Like being in contact with each other all the time, both sides making the effort. And if that doesn't happen, like it's okay. Like. It's, it's a normal, very, very normal thing to happen. And it's, it sucks and it's sad sometimes, but it happens. So I'm just gonna finish my cookie. Mm -hmm. My God, usually I get the white chocolate cookies, but bloody hell, that was actually, go on Sainz. I think that concludes the video. Well done to all my fellow classmates, if you're watching doing so well to be fair everyone's shows were like amazing um i think one group is actually taking their show to like camden fringe which is like flipping awesome i'm very jealous and well done to them for like making that push and doing it um i know one of my oh i don't know why i'm being like one of my classmates of this person Amelie, hello. Um, I know you watched the videos. Hopefully you're watching it this far because it's going to be a big one. But she is like take. She's been writing a show for ages and is finally like putting it on, which is really really exciting. And I know it's going to be good. Definitely going to see it because bloody hell, that girl's got talent. I'm not like oh, everyone knows it. It's so good. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's not for everyone, but actually, do you know what I will say? I'm just gonna really quickly say, just to add for people living at home, just quickly, other pros, so other cons of living at home, start with the bad stuff, is money to travel in, it's bloody expensive, especially if you live as far as Essex. You spend a lot of money on food, like mm -mm, you don't take a pack lunch, you don't go back to your flat and be able to cook. Obviously, if you get, um, friends that live in the halls and stuff like that then you obviously can cook there but food you're gonna spend a lot of money on i guess just stuff of like you do get fomo 100 percent you get fomo if you live at home because even obviously people invite you to certain things but when you're up in london things spontaneous happen like last minute decisions let's go here let's go there when you live an hour away it's like some sometimes people won't ask you because they know you live an hour away and it's like what's the point because we want to go now and it's going to take and stuff like that you do miss out on stuff you just got to weigh it up the good things being with your family being with your pets like being able to be with your friends from home like and spending time with them you're not missing out on any sort of like valuable time with them because you're there um obviously home cooked meals and stuff like that you still get all the good stuff I don't know. I have no regrets. And now, oh, I was just literally about to end this video and now I'm still going on. Oh my God, I've been filming for 30 minutes. Hi, how are you? But yes. I can hear him. You win. A game? So that was really weird. He wasn't even there. I bet you can't even hear the footsteps, but if you can, I'm definitely gonna like turn that volume up because I thought he was right out there, which is really weird. But yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was a bit like, might have been a bit boring, but I guess it's just like background noise. <laughs> I really wanna film some juicy other like fun videos soon and I'm definitely going to as well. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, 
will really appreciate it um, and give the video a thumbs up if you found it boring. There we go. If you're still watching now and found it boring, give the video a thumbs up because that's I'm probably going to get more thumbs up by people who found it boring than people who thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> so, yes. See you guys in the next one. I'm hoping to put this up. I might even put it up tonight. Love you guys so much. I love doing this and I really hope I can carry on. And I'm going to, so I know I keep. I feel like I keep repeating myself. <laughs> Love you guys. Goodbye. See you in the next one. Ah, bye bye.